of the year yesterday. Isn't it beautiful? Hi guys! Welcome to a new studio vlog. Yay! I don't know if you can tell, but I am sick. It's nothing too serious, it's just like a cold. I'm just glad that I'm not sick later in the week because I have a market Saturday. So that is something really exciting that's going to be going on this week is that together we are going to get ready for the market. And of course, I'll take you along with me on Saturday. Gosh, it's like really bright out right now because <laughs> of the snow. I had to like close my blind a little bit because it's just so bright from the snow and the sun. Anyway, so this week is going to be a lot of prepping for this market. So today I hope to paint as many ornaments as I can. I want to paint cardinal ornaments, like two males and two females, and I want to paint owl ornaments. I hope to paint those today, like all of the ornaments that require acrylic paint. Unfortunately, I don't like acrylic paint at all, but um, it's just best for these ornaments. And then we'll be painting more ornaments probably tomorrow. And those will be watercolor ornaments, um, like snowflakes and pine trees. And then we need to make lots of prints. And um, I'm also getting my Christmas card order today sometime, I think. So that's really exciting. In the previous vlog, we designed the Christmas cards together. And then I bought cardstock on Amazon to print out my own cards. But the quality of this cardstock is off. Like, it's just not that great at all. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just not that great quality. Um, and then it, like, tears. At, like, you could probably see it. Like these little tears right here. So then I ended up this weekend, this past weekend, I ended up ordering cards instead of printing out my own cards. So let's get started on these ornaments. painted very slowly today <laughs> um, I'm not feeling that great right now so I didn't get very much done today I have these owl ornaments drawn out I wish that I could have gotten to them today but um, I just <laughs> painted very slowly and now it's like five o'clock and um, I'm just tired and I don't feel that great. So we will paint those out ornaments tomorrow. I didn't really record the process of painting these cardinals because I already did. Um, a few vlogs back I painted cardinal ornaments so I didn't want to um, bore you. <laughs> but if you're new here and you didn't see that vlog I will link it in the card above and in the description below if you're interested in seeing the process of these cardinal ornaments.
better today almost 100% better so that's good news I had a very slow start to today but it's fine um, it's now about two o'clock in the afternoon and all I've done is package sticker orders and printed prints <laughs> oh wait I also edited this um, this moon phase print I had the painting scanned in already and I actually sold the original one, so that means that I can sell prints of it. So I edited that print in Photoshop, but that's all I've really done today. So now we are going to paint some owl ornaments. And later on, if we have time, I will um, start embellishing these prints. And I get questions all the time what paper I'm using. So this is handmade paper from Fringe and Rose on Etsy. Okay, so let's get started with the owl ornaments. <music> I am so happy how they turned out. 
my Christmas cards just arrived and we're going to open them together and I can't remember if I told you this um, yet in the vlog but last week in last week's vlog um, I designed these Christmas cards and I bought cardstock to print out Christmas cards myself and the cardstock was not very good quality at all and I was also having trouble getting the colors correct and so I ended up ordering the Christmas cards through a manufacturer and now they are here and we're going to open them together. my gosh guys I love these cards I love this one I got it on pearl paper so it shimmers a little bit I don't know if you can tell in the video and then we have this one here the colors are a little oversaturated but I actually like it I think it looks very nice. This one's also on um, pearl paper, so it kind of shimmers. I love it. This green is kind of a blue green, but I actually like that. Um, and here's a comparison to my home printed one. As you can tell, the colors are like way different. And then here's this one. This one is um, printed on regular cardstock, so it's not pearl. So yeah, um, let's compare this one too to my home printed one. Here we go. So yeah, that's way different, and it looks so much better. I don't think it's, I don't think it has to do with my printer, but um, I think it has to do with like the type of paper I'm using. Um, and then just figuring out what the correct settings should be to make it print the best. I am so, so happy I decided to order these cards instead of printing them out myself because they look so nice. And the card stock is, is like so thick. It's like twice as thick as this one I bought on Amazon. So, um just so happy with it. Now I'm going to embellish the Moon Phase 5x7 print. Alright guys. Okay. I lied, we're not going to embellish prints because the paint that I just applied on these um, started to kind of interact with the ink from the print. It just looks weird, like there's like a, like it's bleeding into the ink. So maybe the ink isn't completely dry yet. Okay, so this is a learning experience for me. Now I know to wait a day or two days after printing to embellish. So maybe we will try this again tomorrow.
Good morning. So today we are going to try to paint as many ornaments as we can. I think these three right here are going to be pine tree ornaments. And then these I'm going to paint snowflakes. I also um, tried out transparent watercolor ground on these two. And I don't know how I feel about them. <laughs> they just don't look that nice. Like if I want the wood to show through in some areas like those owl ornaments we painted yesterday, um, the background was the wood. So I don't think I'm going to do that with these. So if this is the first vlog you're watching of mine, I am using iridescent watercolor medium with my watercolor to make my watercolor shimmery. And I'm using KMS watercolor handmade paints. And I also have some more of hers in here. And I'm using Winsor Newton and um, Art Philosophy paints. I also have this metallic set of paints from Art Philosophy, which I use a lot actually. Um, I keep forgetting to tell you guys this. But I am sorry that I have not been uploading tutorials lately or like any other kinds of videos besides these studio vlogs. Um, it's because this time of year is really busy for me. I'm also trying to put together some online watercolor courses and that's taking a lot of my time too. So um, it's just kind of hard for me to upload two YouTube videos a week. Like I have been doing at least what I used to do like a few months ago. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. I really hope to upload more YouTube videos next year, like two a week. So maybe like a weekly studio vlog and then some kind of other video like artist advice or a sketchbook Saturday or um, tutorials and stuff so I'm sorry about that if you've been wondering where all of the new tutorials are um, I'm sorry <laughs> so I think for the rest of the year I am going to basically be uploading studio vlogs every week and then I think after Christmas like the week after Christmas I will upload a video um, about my goals for 2020 and what I want to accomplish in 2020 with my art business would you guys like to hear about my goals for 2020 I've really been thinking about next year and this year has been really big for me because I started to learn watercolor and it changed my whole business. It changed everything and I'm so thankful for that. I felt, I just felt like oil painting kind of limited me and learning watercolor really um, helped me expand my products and it also like helped my skills and um yeah i hope that makes sense so i'm really excited to see what next year will bring especially for my watercolor courses <laughs>
love how the snowflake ornament turned out. I think it's just so pretty, especially with the dark blue background. These other ones I haven't really worked on. I'm thinking for these two, I might wait and paint them like for my next market. That's in about, I think, two or three weeks. I don't know. I'm just not... I'm just not really wanting to paint anymore. I'm just getting really tired. Um, and I also really like this blue, this dark blue background. So I might actually paint over this with dark blue watercolor paint like this one. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think I should paint over these? to make it also this dark blue color so that the snowflake stands out or should I um, keep them these colors? I think I might try to attempt embellishing these prints again. all of the ornaments I am going to varnish now. This has been what I've been using to varnish the ornaments and I usually go in my garage because this smells really bad. <laughs> so I'm going to do that now. Happy Friday! You know what that means. That means tomorrow is the market and I'm getting really excited. Right now it's about like 1 in the afternoon and this morning I put up my backdrop um, because it's been a long time since I have used it last, like the springtime with my last indoor market. And I also ordered a brand new banner and it's a lot bigger and heavier than my old one so I tried to figure out how I was going to hang that up. And I also ran some errands this morning and I got some things for tomorrow at the store. And now we have a lot to do this afternoon so I need to um, twine all of those ornaments and sign the backs and sleeve prints and fold cards. So those are like the main things we have to do today. And then we have to pack everything up and put it all in my car. Let's get to it. to find our spot and unload. We are making good time. We have about an hour and a half left of setting up. And I'm about halfway done. So we're good. We are all set up.
stores and to the market. And so far it's going very great. There's a lot of people here. Many great artisans and makers and artists. It's a good market for sure. Hey guys, it's now Monday and I'm editing the vlog all today. I just wanted to hop on here and tell you a little bit about the market. So it went very well. I met some really, really nice people and I connected with some businesses too, some other small businesses. I didn't sell as many ornaments as I thought I would, but that's okay. And I sold an original, so that's really cool. And I sold a lot of prints and stickers. And a few Christmas cards. Not as much as I thought, but that's fine. <laughs> um, anyways, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And for being here and your support and commenting and liking this video. It just, it all means so much to me. Every single one of you. You mean so much to me. You guys are really, really helping my YouTube channel grow. And I am just so thankful about that every day. And now I'm going to finish editing this vlog. And then tomorrow I'm going to be starting the next vlog. So I hope you'll join me for Studio Vlog 29 this coming week. I guess it'd be next week. Next week. Anyways. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Bye.